Hello there, my name is the Alkaline Five right here, bringing you some more Destiny information about Rise of Iron, and there's a lot to cover in this video, so I do hope you enjoy this little gameplay I went on Ham and Clash with my friends, so if you do enjoy, be sure to subscribe for more content and leave a like if you enjoy this video. So, let's get on with this long list. First off, let's go on about the Radiant Treasures. We all know that you can get one per week, and we all know that they'll give you new skins to customise your exotics with. So, what's new about it? Well, if you turned out to get a duplicate for your... Um, ornament they'll drop a new currency called silver dust and this silver dust is used to purchase for tests and you can what things that you sell is like the sparrow and some artifacts apparently but there's no actual like details on that at all yet that's all they said about it so that's quite a new thing to use but there's also something else you can use it for Zer. This little shit that sells you exotics will be selling year free exotics and he also will be selling ornaments that you actually want for your gun but this time he'll be selling it for silver dust so silver dust will become useful for ornaments. Um, the three of coins will be staying in Rise of Iron which is good news and the crucible in private match if you get crucible wins and kills they actually will count towards your grimoire score and also will count towards your daily bounties of the crucible but they will not count towards weekly which is quite good actually there will be a new weapon balance update shortly after rise of iron drops there also will be viva levante will be selling chroma gear this chroma gear will be let you just pretty much be bright pink or bright blue or bright red you know just that kind of chroma gear and also new factions will be well the factions will be selling new um gear as well just to let you guys know there will be a new exotic quest that will be in this game. One of them will be actually included the Fawn. That's right, the Fawn will be returning in Destiny Rise of Iron. I wonder how OP they're going to make that gun again. I, just, I, I am dreading it when it comes to Crucible. I think it's going to be interesting to see what they're going to do with it. Uh, you will not be able to earn uh, Year 2 Trials of Cyrus gear. So as soon as Rise of Iron comes out, Year 2 stuff is gone. Year 3 is out, so that's good news on that. And we'll all be thinking about the exotic ingrams. You know, I'm collecting exotic ingrams right now because I think, you know, if you actually, like, decrypt them when Rise of Iron drops, they'll drop me year three. And this question actually was asked on the stream, you know, will it actually do it? And what did you do? What did the bandies do? They said nothing. Literally, it still remains a mystery. So pretty much, I say gather them and just hope that it does count. We do not know. There's no actual response to them about this, so... We just, just gotta wait until Rise of Iron comes out. And the last thing is, there will be a new event thing in Patrol, like they did with the Dark Below, when you'll be able to kill like a couple of enemies and they'll drop a sword for about 30 seconds that you can use it for before actual uh, Dark Below came out. They're doing the same thing with Rise of Iron, um, so keep an eye on that. And the new update as well coming out next week is pretty much uh, the Radiant. The sterling treasure will only be allowed one per week now, not three per week. So, if you want sterling treasure now, you pretty much you pretty much just gotta get used to the system as it's now changed. So, but anyway, this has been the boy Arcana Five right here. Be sure, I hope you enjoy this Rise of Island update. It's a lot to cover in this video, and hopefully, you did understand me when I was saying. And I cannot wait for Rise of Island, I say. So, I should talk to you later, guys. This is Arcana Five as always. Take care and peace, people. Goodbye.